You know, I don't, muscles don't win fights. You know what it's all about? That IQ. You know, I'm 10 steps ahead of any fighter. You know, I take whatever your best attribute is, I take it away from you, make you resort to doing something that you don't want to do. What's going on, y'all? Coach Floyd from Team Us Unlimited, LLC. Thank you once again for tuning in. Now, today we're going to look at the fifth style of boxing, which is the counter-punching style. Now, this is a good style. I really like the counter-punching style. See, a counter-puncher utilizes techniques that require the opposed opponent to make a mistake, and then they capitalize on that mistake. So a good counterpuncher knows how to get in the mind of his opponent and to make his opponent throw the punch that they want them to throw. You, you know what I'm saying? But watch this real fast. I wanted you to see this. Look how Lomachenko smiled at his opponent to get in his opponent's head before he counted him real fast. Look, look at this. See, threw him off. It totally threw him off. Now, one thing about a counterpuncher, a counterpuncher need great reflexes. He need great reflexes and he have to be relaxed. If you're not relaxed in the mind, your muscles going to be tensed up, your adrenaline going to be going, you won't be relaxed enough for your reflexes to fire off fast. And then what will happen is you might get counted trying to counter somebody else. If this is some good countering, y'all, while I'm talking. This is some really good countering. Now... Just some things you're going to need. As a counterpuncher, you will need great reflexes. You will need great balance. You will have to know the basics. And you will need a defense that's up to par. Because you have to be ready for the counterpunch. Just in case you go to try to counterpunch somebody and they counterpunch your counterpunch. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be ready. Your defense has to be up to par. Now, one of the things I would tell y'all is when y'all are in the gym practicing and sparring, don't be nervous when somebody throw punches at you. Be in the right position to make them throw what you want them to throw. And you already have in your head how you're going to counter them. Because remember, this is a thinking man sport. You can't just be winging stuff. You got to set it up. You got to get them to throw the punches you want them to throw. For instance, if I wanted somebody to throw a right hand, I would move a little towards their right hand and probably have my hand down a little bit to bait them to throw the right hand. And I already know that by me baiting them to throw the right hand, I might have had in my head, I'm going to slip the right hand and, and hit them in the liver. That would be my counter then come with the hook something like that you have to plan it out in your head so when you're in the gym practicing don't be nervous you have to relax so you can see the punches coming and so your reflexes be sharp now once again i thank you for tuning in i thank y'all for watching please subscribe for future videos if you have any questions please ask them and i help y'all out thank you once again for tuning in see y'all next time